everyone welcome to my channel so as you see I have my sister here with me and today we are doing a universal yums super yum unboxing for the month of March 2021 and if you can tell from the shirt we might be going to Germany if you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, they are a monthly snack subscription where you get international snacks sent to your door each month. Um, and each month is a different country. This month is Germany. If you don't know, we're half German. I'm actually a dual citizen, so we're very excited about this. Um, the We get the Super Yum box, which is the biggest box. It is $41 a month and comes with about 20 snacks. There's two smaller ones. One of them is $27, the Yum Yum box, and then the Yum box is $16 a month. And I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe. And let's get inside this box. All right, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. On top, it shows the map of Germany with some fun little facts about different cities. Then on the back, it shows all the snacks and you can kind of rate them there. Um, and they have a couple other things there. So you can rate your favorite, worst, and weirdest snack. Then they have a picture that says, I followed the trail of yums in Germany. And this looks like Hansel and Gretel, which <laughs> is an interesting choice because... Um, well, you know, if you know the story of Hansel and Gretel, then you know what happens when they get to the candy house, but it's fine. And then the pamphlet, which is off to Germany. And inside, it gives you um, facts about the country. Oh, beef rouladen. Oh my god, rouladen. Richtig lecker. Um, there's my, well, there's that video on YouTube of this, like, chef making rouladen, and his accent is the best thing in the entire world. I think it's in English, and he has, like, a really uh, starke, str uh, strong. strong accent. And, yeah, beef uh, rouladen. They're very good. Yeah. Katrina made them once for me, and very good. Yeah, very traditional. Then they have some trivia there. Um, and then they talk all about the yums inside. There's nutritional facts and little games and fun things as well. I will say that we're probably gonna throw some German into this video because we both speak it. So, um, wenn ihr Deutsch seid, dann versteht ihr das. If you're not German, you probably won't understand everything. All right, so we're gonna start off by showing everything in the box and then we will taste some of the products inside at the end. All right, the first product is Atnos Flips, which means like they're, they're peanut little, or peanut puffs. Um, this is what they look like. I think I've had these before. Not this brand, but I feel like I've had these in Germany. I don't know. I've um, had that brand. I feel like I've had that brand. Oh, I love these. Yeah, they're really good. They're a good um, mix of sweet and salty. Yeah. All right, the next product is by Bailey's, and this is their toffee caramel popcorn with the taste of Bailey's. This doesn't feel super German to me, but I guess they're saying here that German sweets and alcohol go hand in hand. So I guess this is literally by the alcohol company Bailey's and it does have German on it. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, this doesn't have actual alcohol in it, I'm guessing. Um, it had liqueur geschmack. So yeah, it has the taste of it, but it doesn't actually have it, I guess. Bailey's geschmack. You said it has the taste. It had weniger als ein Prozent Alkohol nicht für Kinder geeignet. Oh. Oh, so there is. I've... That's interesting. So basically what that, what I just said, if you don't speak German, it does have less than a percent of alcohol in it. It's not meant for kids. And I feel like this is a box that a lot of people get for their kids. Like, I feel like a lot of like the pamphlet and stuff is made for you to teach your kids. I mean, is that going to do much to your kids? No, they're going to be fine. But just throwing that out there, if you do have kids, this does have less than a percent of alcohol inside. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right, the next thing I'm so excited about, it's these. It's the Tasty Snack Pulled Pork, I guess, little chip cracker things. It looks so good. I've never tried these before. I've never seen this in Germany or anything, but um, meat's a huge yeah. thing in Germany. Germany yeah, <laughs> and they kind of look like the bacon strips. So I wonder if they're going to yeah. taste like bacon. And like German pork versus like the American pulled pork is very different, but... I don't know. I'm down. I'm excited. And the bag feels like heavy. Like they're like dense crackers or chips or whatever they are. It feels kind of heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. The next thing out is again from the XOX snaps, <laughs> snacks. This is the pumice ketchup. So these are like French fry type of chips. They're not like actual French fries and they have ketchup. I feel like these are super type of like, I feel like they have a lot of these like type of chips. I do like the ones with paprika besa better yeah. um, because I don't know, but these are still pretty, pretty good. They're not my favorite. Thing, I'll be honest, but they are pretty good. And these ones feel thick, 
like, I don't know. I like the really thin ones. Those are the really good ones, but I'm still excited for these. All right, so the next item we have is by the XOX brand again, and it's Tsvibe. So they're basically just like little onion ring puffs. Um, I'm excited for these. I love anything yeah, like onion rings. rings. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yummy. Okay, the next thing that I am bringing out are Hallorenkugeln, um, original. And these are the Stracciatella um, ones. So these are basically like, I don't know, Stracciatella little chocolate rounds. Not really good I don't know, that. but those look so good. I definitely want to try these. Yeah, they look good. I don't know. I always see that flavor ice cream when we go to Germany. Stracciatella, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I'm excited to try these. I don't know. They remind me of like the um, marshmallow. I know what you're talking Riva. about. I know what you're talking yes. about, but I don't know. I don't know. There's like these marshmallow things with chocolate on top, and I, why am I not thinking of the name? It kind of looks like that, but that's not what these are. They're no, not Domino Steiner. No. Um, I don't know. I, I can envision the package. Yeah. I just don't. Um, but they kind of look like those, but I don't think that's what these are. All right, so the next thing we pulled out is Cocoa Dusted Almonds by Vesica Tragus. Um, yeah, they're basically just like cocoa covered almonds. Yeah, that sounds great to me. Yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is Ku Bonbon, and I thought these were moms, and I got really excited, and then I realized it's not. So these are Ku Bonbons. So these are like little caramel stuff. Oh, soft butter caramel. This is not aus Hamburg. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so these are made from um, Hamburg cow milk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they're just like a soft, uh, like chewy caramel with milk and butter. So I'm down. All right. Up next, we have marzipan, which is really typical in Germany. Um, it says marzipan kartoffeln, which would translate to marzipan potatoes. But they're little marzipan balls, and it said says dusted with cocoa powder. So, yeah. and it's yeah. by the brand Schluckwerder. Nice. So I'm excited. I love marzipan. Yeah. The next thing that I am pulling out is by Sunrise, and these are the country, 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 country ooh. crunchy chocolate with puffed rice crispies, milk, and cereal. This is in English packaging, but I do know that this is German. Um, these are so yummy. I really love these. I think they sell these this, or something very similar at Lidl, um, but I don't know if I've had this one before, but these are so good. They're like puffed rice with like chocolate and yum, yum, yum. Yes, I love this. I'm so excited about this one. Next up, we have something that I am so excited about. It is a cookie dough chocolate chip bar. So it's like a chocolate bar with cookie dough in it. <laughs> um, say goodbye to my diet. <laughs> it's by the brand Halloran again, and it says it's new, no. So yeah, yeah. this one is, ugh. Yep. Amazing. All right, so the next thing I'm pulling out is this here. It's by Spreewaffel, and this is the Almond Cinnamon Cream Filled Wafers. Um, not a big wafer fan, but Almond Cinnamon sounds good. Yeah, so that we'll flavor see. sounds good. It sounds kind of wintry. Yeah, I mean, it, it has schnee on it, yeah. but uh, snowflakes. snowflakes on it, so really cute. Next, we have some cookies. These are by the brand Schlut. Schlute. Schlute. Schlute, Schlute. All right, up next we have some cookies by the brand Schleute. They are mini ox eye cookies, and it looks like they're Kirsch cherry flavor. It shows the cherry right there, so I'm just assuming. Does it say? Oh yeah, fruity delicious with sour cherry filling. I love cherry. That's probably like my favorite, like pie or cookie or what? fruit. Well, like you know, filling of something. Oh, okay. Like when they do a fruity <laughs> filling on. I don't know. I love cherries. Okay. So, yep. And it looks like that. Very yummy. All right. The next thing I'm pulling out is another marzipan product. This is also by Schluckwerra. And this is their Qualitäts Marzipan. So this is like a dark chocolate, right? Zart bitter mm -hmm. Schokolade. Yeah, it's like a dark chocolate covered marzipan. I'm all for it. I'm very yeah. happy. Oh, it's fun. Never mind. I thought it was from Lübeck, but, but they have Lübeck like right under it. All right. We have a chocolate bar now. It is by the brand Chocomonk and strawberry rhubarb flavored. That sounds really good. I love fruity flavored stuff. Yeah. So. I do remember we got that in the last Germany box. I don't remember how it was. I remember the last Germany box, I had a bunch of Chocomonk products and I've never like had Chocomonk when I was in Germany, but I feel like it's a smaller brand and maybe that's why, but excited to try it again because I don't remember what it tasted like. All right. Next is the yum bag, which has all the little candies inside. Okay. First out are again from Ku Bobon, and these are the cappuccino milk caramels. So they have like a, a coffee, like a coffee tasted, tasted, uh, t scented, uh, flavored. Oh my gosh. We're hungry. So pardon us. Um, it is like, 
um, 11 or 12 and I haven't eaten breakfast, so this is gonna be breakfast. Um, but yeah, yummy. Up next is a very typical German flavor. It's a German cola candy, so there's these little things. I don't know, it feels kind of like a hard chewy candy and it's cola flavor, which like I said, is very popular in Germany. I love cola flavored yes, things. Same. All right, the next thing I guess is from the same company. It doesn't have the company name on it. And these are like sour fruit chews, which I love sour. So it has grapefruit, uh, marajuka, Apfel, apple, and Johannisbeere. Johannisbeere is not something you can get in the United States, so that'll be interesting, but I'm excited for those. And Rachel reminded me to clarify that Johannisbeere are like a type of berry, since you may not know what they are. Though these ones are like, um, like blue, but the one by mm -hmm. Oma are always red, the ones that she yeah. has, but they're really like a bitter berry, but I kind of like them. Mm -hmm. All right, the next thing is from Kubamon. Again, yeah. Yeah, um, it is strawberry licorice. Licorice is another popular German candy. I know most people don't like it, but I we love really it. like licorice. Um, so I don't know if I've ever had strawberry licorice though, aside from like Twizzlers or what, but that doesn't count. Yeah. So excited. I'm to excited try these. about this one. All right. So those were all the snacks. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna pick out some ones that we want to try, which I feel like is gonna be a lot this It'll time. Be a lot, guys. Probably <laughs> mostly all of them. Yeah. We we won't try all of them, but we'll try a lot of them, and we'll be back in a second. All right. We picked out the snacks. Which one do you want to try first? Let's start with the pulled pork. I'm so excited about these. Ooh. Me. Uh, okay, oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> I get over the smell. We need a candle that smells like this. Okay, I, that's übertrieben, but. It's <laughs> what? Übertrieben. I don't even know what that means. See, it's Deutsch. You guys got it for übertrieben, isn't it? Okay, this is what they look like. They look really good. They look like little bacon crisps. Yeah. Yep. They're really salty. They are salty. But they're really good. They are good. They need to sell more like meat <laughs> flavored stuff like this in Here. the US. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm gonna throw in a chewing disclaimer because we tend to get a lot of comments going in two different directions. One, they hate the way we chew, you chew their mouth open, blah, 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 blah. We're here having fun. We're not here to be Miss Proper. We're not gonna be proper. We might chew their mouths opens a little bit because we're just, opens a little bit. But we're just here to have fun. And then I've also seen comments where it's like, you should show the full chewing. And I'm like, you don't want to see the full chewing. Let me tell you. Some of these things take a long time to chew and it would be a really long video. So we're trying to meet in the middle from the two opposite ends that want to see all the chewing and that want to see no chewing. So you'll see a little bit. Okay. All right, and next we're gonna try the Zwiebels. They don't really smell. They kind of smell like animal food, like dog food. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, the front flavor is good. And then it tastes like nothing. Yeah, they're okay. They're not the best, like, cause we get a lot of these like onion ring, they're sour cream and onion rings, stuff like that. So they're not the best that we've had. Funyuns are better. <laughs> But they're good. I mean, you do get that onion taste for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, up next we have the pumice ketchup sticks. I already know I'm gonna like these, but of course you have to try them. They're not my favorite, but. Oh, they have like the. Oh, ooh, those smell good. You know, these, these look, look like a, the veggie straws. Veggie straws. Yeah. We both got really excited. Okay. <laughs> I like them better than I thought I would. They have like a sweet ketchup, I think. I can't quite. To me, they don't taste like ketchup, but they taste good. They do taste like ketchup, but not like full on ketchup. Yeah, I like these. I, I like them. These. I like them better than veggie straws. Yeah. All right, next we're gonna try the Ethnos Flips, so like the peanut butter puffs. The they look like little shrimpies. They're mini. I thought they were gonna be bigger, but oh, they're yeah. these little tiny itty bitty. <clears throat> Ooh, they're like coated in peanut butter. Yeah. Love them. It's like a salty peanut butter. It's not sweet at all. So these are salty, like a savory snack. But it has a hint of sweet, but they're not fully sweet. And mm -hmm. I, mm, I could eat this whole bag. I've been watching Vekan Dekan on Netflix, which is like the German version of Nailed It, I feel like. I know these are savory, but I feel like watching that and eating these. Do it. It's a vibe. Next up, we have our little Straziatella. Kugel? Yeah, balls. <laughs> balls? <laughs> Okay, what is she fancy? Mmm, pick one. These are kind of smaller than I thought, but that's not a problem. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Germans know how to do chocolate right. That, 
Oh, so good. It's like a vanilla flavor. I think it is dark chocolate on the outside, but they are sweet. It doesn't taste like that bitter. Yeah, Stratzatella, is it vanilla with chocolate in it? And that's the impression that I get, but I could be wrong. I, I don't normally go for Stratzatella because I think it looks boring, but that tasted a bomb. It reminds me of a cannoli, like the inside of a cannoli with the cream and the chocolate chips. Oh, I mean, I'm not that familiar with cannolis, I'm sorry, but those were amazing. All right, so next we're gonna try the Schleute, uh Oxide Cookies with cherry. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> okay, so this is very interesting. It's like a flat cookie with a piped cookie on top. I mean, I've never had a cookie like this, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's <gasps> Like kiosha. It smells like almond <laughs> We are gross. We are disgusting. Okay. It smells like almond extract. You smell like almond extract. <laughs> okay, let's just try this. I'm hungry. Hi. Editing Katrina here. Uh, editing this and realizing that we didn't actually leave our thoughts about the cookies. We just were so excited for the next item that we jumped right in. Uh, so what did we think of the cookies? Well, there's only one left. We really, really love them. They were really awesome cookies. Up next, we have our crunchy bar with the like cream and cereal inside or milk and cereal. Yep. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> this oh was hard to smell that. It smells like popcorn yummy. It does. She got the big piece because I couldn't break it right. <laughs> you want part of this? No. That was. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> that tasted like popcorn with chocolate in a good way. Mm -hmm. That was so good. You can definitely taste the cereal or like. Yeah, it's. I, don't know. I love that. Amazing. All right. Next, we're going to do some marzipan katafe. Oh, I just ate it. This is not good marzipan. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but compared to like the marzipan I've had in Germany, not the best. It doesn't have a good flavor. Can I miss picking this Pickerson? <laughs> yeah, not a fan. Don't like that. It's not good. I love marzipan. That is mm -hmm. just like sugar. It's yeah. not marzipan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being very German right now, but that's not good marzipan. <sighs> Calling it as I see it. Alrighty. Up next, we have our strawberry licorice. Fun coup bonbon. She's different. All right, we're a little confused because <laughs> there is this doesn't look like licorice to me. Is yeah. it caramel with strawberry licorice or like I don't know? Yeah, I'm thinking this might be a caramel, but let's try it. Okay. I'm confused. All right, so that was very interesting. I don't dislike it. Um, it does have licorice. It does have strawberry. It's an interesting combination. I like it. I don't think most people will. Yeah, I personally liked it because I like actual like licorice because you do get that salty side and then you get the creamy strawberry side. It was like she said, it was weird. I personally liked it. I did like that it was so it was like really soft. Soft. Yeah. It wasn't like a hard licorice. So. All right. So that is everything we're gonna try out today. We're a little bit sugared out. That was a lot of sugar. Um, but I have to say this is one of my favorite Universal Yums. I feel like the last Germany box we got, I was not as excited, but I really like pretty much everything, and I'm very happy. I don't know if we're biased because we love German food, but this stuff was genuinely so good. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you really like this stuff in this box? Or are you like, no, y'all are crazy. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> let us know down in the comments below and we'll see you in our next video.